Cameron and Mix will be in Fargo with two comps. 2018 when India won by three goals to nil. India at the moment ranked 98 on the FIFA list. Pakistan are at 195. They did not have a very good tournament in Mauritius. They lost all their matches. India, on the contrary, won the Intercontinental Cup in Bhubaneswar last Sunday. So they come into the match and the tournament as the favourites. But uh, this is a game of football. It could be a day's game. Anyone can win and any team can be upset. So you can't take away any team from the competition so early and suddenly Pakistan will do everything possible to put up what they should be doing a brave fight against the Indian team to suddenly fancy to win this match here yeah. and there goes the start of the match between India and Pakistan championship for 2023 the eight time winners of this tournament in coming the lobby to the center and ahead of us with Chetri there. But the goalkeeper, Savik, domination yet to be. And that goal kick goal goes go straight to Chetri. Chetri comes up with a shot over there, but the ball ricocheting off the foot of stopper. Esas oh. That's Abdullah Iqbal. Pushes it back to his goalkeeper. And it's good to be a goal. Yes, it is. Oh my god! What a horror! The stadium is erupted! That missed kick straight to Sunil Chetri and Chetri filling an untenanted net. Here it is! That goal, the replay of that goal. A terrible blunder there by the Pakistan. Bala passing at the top of the penalty box. The super dangerous once again there, but then the penalty, I think. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The replay. I need to top out with the ball there. And the ball hitting the Pakistan midfielder, Muhammad Musa Khan, I think. And the referee very close to the spot of the infringement, pointing to the spot. So India, there's the replay once again. And the penalty awarded to India. Sakib Hanif in the goal. There goes the whistle. Chetri. Play of that conversion. That right footer crashing into the net. 15 minutes into the game. The lob on the far side towards Kurunian. Inside the penalty box comes up with the lob there, but then played wide of the right of right. Goes towards Pritam Kotal, Kotal to Chetri, Chetri to Kotal once again there. The danger not averted. Kotal to Chetri and Chetri comes up with a brilliant shot on the turn over there. A long pass on the far side towards Kurnian. He gets the ball, gives it to Chetri, but Kurnian has been fouled there. Yellow card, I think, yes. There goes the whistle. And here it is, the right footer. Try to come up with some moves over there. The pass intended for Otis Khan, but intercepted nicely by Sanders Jingman over the line. That was a little unnecessary, one thought. The coach suddenly had no business to intercept the ball. When a Pakistan player was about to take the throw in, leading to the skirmish.
something that could well have been avoided. But the coach, he goes to Mack, needlessly putting his hand to intercept that throw in from the Pakistan forward, Hassan Bashir. You see the replay there of that incident. And there you see the coach coming and picking the ball up there from Abdullah Iqbal. He could be cautioned. The referee having a word with the assistant on the near side. And also the fourth official. And Igor Stimak, the coach of the Indian team, could well be booked, I think, for that needless interference in the game. And there is the referee pulling out the card. Yes, a red card. And the coach has been expelled from the bench. The Indian team's coach, Igor Stimak, has been expelled from the bench for that act of indiscretion. And a yellow card to the Pakistan manager as well for coming in and interfering. So the referee handling the situation very, very appropriately indeed, calling both sets of captains and the players. Sunday Jingen and Rahis Nabi also being booked. This is the incident. Once again, he goes to Mac. Being asked to leave the bench. And Mahesh Gavli, the former Indian international, now in the technical area. The assistant coach now taking over the mantle of the coach. Mahesh Gavli, a splendid defender in his days, along with Deepak Mandal in the Indian. And there goes the whistle signaling the end of the first half. A tumultuous first half over here. India 2, Pakistan 0. The Indian team's coach, Igor Stimak, being sent off for his act of indiscretion and to produce what should be another exciting half. All set for the kickoff. And there goes the whistle. Pakistan restart the match in the second half. Purnayan on the attack. Into the box over there, a long forward pass into the box there, but straight to the goalkeeper. Sahal chips it into the box over there, a lovely shot over there, and a header. Superb header coming off the crossbar, I think Jackson sits to into the box over there. He dropped down, nothing doing, says the referee, he's pointed to the spot, yes, he's pointed to the spot. Chetri! And the conditions not very conducive for the fast paced game either. A long diagonal pass was on the far side. This could be dangerous. Yes, it is. And that is the goal. Rohit. I think it was a pick there. Anwar Ali pushing the ball up there. And the unmarked Indian Rohit coming up with a lovely placement there past the goalkeeper to put the ball into the net. Certainly, he beat the offside trap. Very nice. fourth. Listen, Colasso there. Trying to find the top far corner. And they're on the attack once again. And that was a near shot. And there goes the final whistle. Signaling the end of the India-Pakistan match in the Group A of the SAF Bangabandhu Championship 2023. The scoreline, India 4, Pakistan 0. An absolutely stunning performance by the Indian team. Of course, they were aided by two blunders by the Pakistan goalkeeper. The Pakistan defence also conceding two penalties in the match. Sunil Chetri scoring three goals and Uranta Kamam scoring the fourth. 
Pakistan not able to reduce the margin, losing by four goals to nil.